Good morning. Welcome again to the Bethany Associate Reformed Presbyterian Church as we come together here for our What's That Word Wednesday. Now, as we come together for this time of instruction, this time of learning, <clears throat> our purpose is to take words and phrases in the Bible that you have questions about or uh, don't know the answer to how to deal with. And so we'll take five to seven minutes here on a Wednesday morning and, and try to figure that out uh, for the best of our a walk with Christ. And so this morning, uh, the word that was given to me uh, was the word faith. What do we mean by faith? How does faith work? What does faith do? Uh, we'll answer some of those questions here in a second. But before we get into all that, let's go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give thanks again for this blessed day, this Wednesday, this day that you have made and declared to be yours. God, we pray that you would encourage us through this time that you would use this time, that we might grow in love and appreciation for the work of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that we might grow and be steady in the hope that we have in your promise, both this day and forevermore. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, as we come to answer this question about what the word faith means, we kind of already did a little bit in the prayer I just gave. You know, it's a faith is a sure and certain hope. And what it is it a sure and certain hope of? Well, it's in Christ. Now, does that mean that we believe in the body of Christ? Well, in a sense. Does that mean we just kind of believe in the concept or the idea of Christ? Not really. You see, the nature of faith and the verse that we usually go to to define faith is Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, 1 and 2 and 3 say, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Now, that makes perfect sense. Right? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now, as the substance... You know, when we think of substance, we usually think of something tangible, something that's made of real stuff, something that's dirt or metal or paper, something that is tangible, that we can feel with our senses. <clears throat> and that's an important aspect of faith that we need to consider. Again, faith is a real thing. It is not a blind grasping into the darkness. You know, one of the ways faith is sometimes... Um, misunderstood is, for instance, in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, you remember as uh, as Indy is going through the tests to get to the Holy Grail, there is a test where uh, he is to take a leap of faith. He is to trust that there is a passage that goes over a deep ravine inside this cave. And so he has to believe that they um, that it's there. Well, the thing is, is that he's taking a blind leap. He's trusting in something that he doesn't know. And that's not how faith works. Faith is the clear testimony of the fulfillment of God's promises unto his covenant people. Now, in earlier in Hebrews, in chapter 10, uh, we are told uh, that the nature of faith is, as it says in verse 35, therefore do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he who is coming will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him, but we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. You see, faith is a sure, and as he notes there, a confidence in the promises of God. Now, in Romans chapter 4, we hear the Apostle Paul talk about the faith of Abraham. You know, faith is the knowledge of God. Abraham, for instance, in his great testimony of faith with his son Isaac, as he takes him up to the altar to be killed, goes through all that because he knows his God. Abraham knows God will not 
have him sacrifice Isaac because God does not sin and he has never ever told anyone to sin. And so Abraham knows this of God. And so even as he raises up the knife, remember what he tells Isaac earlier on in that story. He tells Isaac, when Isaac asks where the sacrifice is, that Abraham responds with, the Lord will provide. And how does he know that? Because what has the Lord done through the whole life of Abraham? He has provided for him. Despite his sin, despite his transgressions, despite his physical, mental, emotional, spiritual weakness, God is the sure and certain hope. So as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, our salvation is not uh, born out of our faith, but our faith is the fruit of the work of the Holy Spirit. Now, we testify to this in our shorter catechism uh, when uh, the catechism in question 86 says, what is faith in Jesus Christ? Faith in Jesus Christ is a saving grace whereby we receive and rest upon him alone for salvation as he is offered to us in the gospel. You see, we receive and rest in Jesus Christ as he's presented in the gospel, not as we would like Jesus to be or how we think Jesus should be, but how he is presented in the gospel. And the gospel testimony is what we have in the scriptures. The scriptures tell us who Jesus is. The scriptures tell us what it is we are to believe concerning Jesus. And it is through that sure and certain word, which we have been given from above, that we not only learn, but that we know that the promises of God are yea and amen in Jesus Christ. So again, as we define faith, as we come to think of what faith is, right, it is the substance of things hoped for. You know, so if anyone asks you why you have faith, point them to Jesus. Because Jesus is the reason why you have faith. Jesus Christ is the second person of the Holy Trinity, the one who was born of a virgin, the one who fulfilled all the prophecies of the Old Testament, and the one who sits at the right hand of God the Father, even at this very moment. And that is what we mean by faith, that we know that all these things are true. Now, the, the, the response sometimes can be, you know, look at the, uh, young, or the father who has the son who has died. And he comes and pleads with Jesus to heal him. What is his great tagline that everybody remembers? He asks Jesus what? He says, help my unbelief. Now, why does the father come to Jesus and say that? Because he knows he is a sure and certain hope that Jesus will answer his prayer. You see, even in his testimony of weakness, he is showing the strength of his faith. And that's why Jesus commends him. That's why Jesus speaks highly of him. Because in our humility, in our, un our unwillingness to trust in ourselves, right? because the heart is deceitful above all things, we are showing again our faith in Jesus Christ. That he is the substance of our testimony. He is the sure and certain hope that we have both this day and forevermore. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Take care. God bless. And if you have any other words you would love to have defined, just uh, leave them at the end of this video. Comment. Uh, shoot me a carrier pigeon, however it is you want to get a hold of me. And we'll be sure to take on the words uh, that are helpful uh, to our Christian walk. Again, take care and God bless.